Breaking two months after his transition, Alafi over your senior wife or Lori Kafayat dies. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Two months after Obalamidi Adeyemi, the Alafi of Oyo joined his ancestors. One of his queens, Olori Kafayat, is reported to have passed on as well. Though details of her death are yet to be revealed, reports had it that the news broke late Friday night. Olori Kafayat Adeyemi, who was the fourth Olori of the late Oba Adeyemi III, was the mother of Prince Adebayo Adeyemi, who is the chairman of the Oyo State Local Government Pensions, Pensions Board. Before her demise, she was popularly known as Iyago or Iyabeji in the Oyo Kingdom. Uh, should I say this love is very strong? Normally when things like this happen, uh, I would tell you that um, it's not easy. Uh, we continue to send our condolences to the family members and the people of Oyo asking them to, you know, take her and, you know, uh, bear the grief with, with hope. This reminds me of, I think I had someone who also lost her, both her parents in one week. It's like her mother died first and the dad out of, and I cannot live without my wife. He is always saying, before you know it, you joined her in that particular week. I can only imagine the kind of grief. But their own was, this one is a different case. They're laughing and his wife, they're, they, 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 they have lived to a particular age, you know. But this, this um, uh, lady I was talking about, they were still young and sincerely, she, all today she still said the death of her, her parents at uh, that time, it, it really, really halted a lot of things and, you know, it turned the, the it turned the, the, should I say, it turned around her life as in she still re holds the, the responsible for a lot of things that could not happen for her. So we we, we, we send our, our condolences to the people of your state and we just hope that um, God grant them the fortitude to bear the loss. Like I always say, anytime there is um, there is an announcement of death like this, what it reminds us is this world is not our home. They say this world in a market. Anywhere you reach, you buy, finish, you will go. But me, I say lie, lie, no be market. If na market, maybe say you go go with everything you do. You know, it's a journey. It's a journey that what we are going with is just our good deeds. Our deeds. So if you have been doing good deeds, no problem. So it's just a reminder, a kindly and a soft reminder that I make you know. So if you have been living like, if you have been living, living like, you know, go die tomorrow, or you still have more years to live, just know that this one, they're all even better. This um, uh, uh, this alafi, this alafi is only even better because both of them are aged. So I want to believe that no, though no matter. Anytime the death happened, <laughs> nobody saw it coming, but at least they have lived their life. And I want to believe that, um, uh, uh, they, they, uh, I, I don't want to say they're prepared, but I want to believe that they, they are prepared. So we should prep ourselves. It can happen to anybody. This is not me scaring anyone, but this is just me telling us that um, let us just all be careful and try to sow good deeds when we have time. And of course, this is maybe an opportunity to say yes. I'm sorry I have to say this. Please make sure you are going to come out to vote during elections. A lot of people have not done their PVC, most especially Southerners, because of number one, INIC issue is there, and then you saw the crowd are much. And of course, you know, um, the date as well. So we are hoping to extend the date so that they can give people chance to get the PVC, then, you know, vote for the, the candidates who will come in and make Nigeria better. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.